at his Sunday night show in Oxford, Mississippi, Morgan Wallen canceled just minutes before he was supposed to come on. To announce this cancellation, Morgan posted on his Instagram story saying, After last night's show, I started losing my voice, so I spent the day resting up, talking to my doctor, and working through my vocal exercises, trying to get better. I really thought I'd be able to take the stage, and it kills me to deliver this so close to showtime. But my voice is shot, and I'm unable to sing. All tickets will be refunded at point of purchase. I'm so sorry. I promise you guys I tried everything I could. An additional message was displayed on the big screens at the stadium, stating, Unfortunately, Morgan has lost his voice and is unable to perform tonight. Therefore, tonight's show has been canceled. Please make your way safely to the stadium exit. Refunds for tonight's event will be available at point of purchase. Fans were immediately upset at the last minute cancellation as they had spent money on the travel, including hotels, and they even already bought merch and concessions. However, they did get to see the full performances of the openers Nate Smith, Ernest, and Hardy. In addition, rumors started to spread that the real reason Morgan couldn't perform is because he was too intoxicated from the nights before. A security guard had apparently told fans that he had seen an ambulance come to the stadium and rush Morgan to the emergency room. However, those rumors have been proved to be false as Ernest even replied back to a fan through Instagram DM stating that Morgan couldn't perform because he truly had lost his voice. It was further confirmed that Morgan's voice is shot when he had to cancel more tour dates. He took to his Instagram story to say, Y'all know how important my fans are to me, so I feel horrible about this news. There's nothing more I want to do than to be on stage playing for you guys. But as of today, I'm on doctor ordered vocal rest and we have to reschedule this week's shows. I appreciate and understand everything you do to get to my shows. So it would be unfair of me to put on a show that I know will not be 100%. I'm doing everything I can to speed up the process of getting to that 100% mark. With this, he announced new dates for the ones he had to cancel and said all original tickets will be honored for the new dates. For questions about refunds, please check with your point of purchase. Despite that, one attendee of the concert has filed a lawsuit in federal court against Morgan, accusing him of breach of contract and negligence. The complaint states that although all ticket holders will be refunded, no offer has been made to reimburse concert goers for other out-of-pocket expenses they incurred in connection with the cancellation. This includes transportation, lodging, food, merchandise sales, transaction fees, and other such expenses. Since the cancellation was not announced in a timely manner, the lawsuit asked that Morgan pay for the money that was lost by his fans, as well as interest and attorney's fees. Many fans have been rushing to social media to support Morgan, expressing that these type of things happen.